Hello Rat Bags, it's Jade. Welcome to The Access Show. Basically, I give you information about survival games, RPGs, and indie games that I really like the look of. Today, we're going to be taking a look at Stranded Deep and some bad news that looks likely we're not going to see the console release of this game until January or February. So if you don't know about Stranded Deep, Stranded Deep was meant to come out last year and I'm going to do this because I have to do it in pretty much every video for the newbies that are joining, especially the console crowd that maybe don't keep up to date with some of these survival games. It was meant to release last year, it was published by Telltale Games, yes they did publishing as well, there were some problems though because Telltale went out of business. Stranded Deep devs managed to get back their rights and so they've been working diligently on getting a new publisher, finishing up the game and getting it back on Xbox and Playstation. Previously it literally was about to come out and the game was pretty much canned at the last moment. Trailers had gone up on the official channels, there was pre-orders and price details all up on the PlayStation Network store as well as Xbox store. Since then I've been keeping you guys in the loop on developments. I was the first person to let you know about the auction in April when Stranded Deep managed to get their rights back. I've also been keeping you up to date on all the updates the devs have been doing and the devs have been pretty fantastic in updating the community. Yes, they've gone a few months without letting people know sometimes, but compared to other game developers, they are really making sure they're letting people know each stage what's happening. And I really like that, I really appreciate that. Anyway, what's the coup, what's happening? They put this tweet out today after announcing a brand new experimental stuff. And I'm gonna take a quick look at that after we do this news, showing you the brand new tutorial. So let's read the tweets. Console update. Everyone is involved in pushing super hard towards a release. There's some third party delays at the moment. The Stranded Deep title was already registered on PS and Xbox systems by the old publisher. So we're working on getting it transferred back to us. Obviously Telltale still had the domains for that on the system and it's just a case of clearing it out but that does take time with all the bureaucracy and paperwork that Microsoft and Sony make you go through. This is required for our dev environments and submissions. The actual dev is going great with final QA start soon. That's really good. I mean if they're getting to that stage the game is going to be hopefully in a good state. Do remember, Stranded Deep is in early access on PC still, but it is looking likely it's coming towards a full release very soon, and the devs have plans to update the console versions just like they would with the PC versions too. So it may not be the final release on console, but it certainly hopefully will be passable as a decent little survival game. We're hoping to have it out before the end of the year, but that's not going to happen based on the minimum time needed for QA and submission. We're all hoping for January, February, if we get third party stuff sorted quickly and QA goes well. And there we go, guys. That is what's happening at the moment. I really had planned or hoped this game would come out before Christmas. I thought it was a great time to arrive. Not only are there a lack of real AAA games out there, but survival games, there really isn't that many coming out between now and next year. With the biggest thing happening, probably Ark, with their last DLC, or their next DLC, I should say, in January. And that's going to be the end of January. So I really felt like there was a good window for Stranded Deep to just achieve even more. But even if it does come out in January and February, I still think that's going to be a pretty decent time. Mainly because it's not going to be super expensive. The game, I do believe, was only about $20 or $25 when it was announced on Xbox and PS4 last year. And it's very different from big multiplayer games like Ark and Conan, etc. So there's definitely going to be a big mass of people on console that would love to play a game like this. We just don't have that many. Comparatively, the only game that you have where it's more survival just on your own or just a few friends is something like The Forest. And that's only available on the PlayStation. You've got The Long Dark, you've got Subnautica, but again, they are very different games. Stranded Deep is all about facing the environment and dealing with the harsh tropical nature of trying to explore different islands and of course fighting off lots of sharks. Their latest update adds a bunch of new creatures to the game as well as new spawning mechanics to make it even more like the game is definitely in a livable environment. Lots of these types of games run out of creatures once you've killed them all maybe not with spawning being as regular as you'd want it to be. Well, they've updated it and changed it, so some of these creatures are now going to be respawning a lot more, and they're definitely going to be a bit difficulty ramping up because they're harder to kill. And that's great stuff to see. If you scroll through some of the reviews of Stranded Deep, one of the things you will see is that it does get a little bit dry after a while. There is no impending doom on your bases. You don't have creatures attacking them like you do in Seven Days to Die. Having new creatures, having creatures that respawn, having difficulty levels with these creatures, as well as obviously the sharks, I think that's really important. So they're adding a brand new hog, a brand new giant crab, and these are going to be much harder than what you're used to on your islands. 
So yeah, a real shame. I have been keeping you guys up to date. I only did a video a month ago reporting on them saying that they've got everything almost in place and things are progressing well. And that made me believe it would come out before the end of the year. But either way, they've done the best they can. This is one developer I will get behind because they've consistently communicated. You guys know if you're a big follower of my channel, I've given the seven days to die developers a hard time over their console saga. They also were published by Telltale Games, on console at least anyway, and the contrast between how both development teams talk to their fans is huge. Literally nine or 10 months before Seven Days to Die devs actually updated the community on what was going on. Anyway, I think the devs have done a good job. I don't want to go too much. I've spoken a lot about that situation with Seven Days to Die. So right now you're seeing the footage of their update experimental. They run these all the time, so they're always testing their stuff before they release it to the main branch, and that's good to see as well. So obviously it is an experimental update, so the new features are going to probably need a bit of work. You can see there the uh, placeholders for like the tutorial descriptions. That will be done, but it's just good to see that they've got something new involved with the tutorial. And they really are showing, a, I think, quite rapid development with this now. Like coming up towards the end of release or the end of their early access life. I mean, it may still be a long way to go. They may still have big plans. The biggest one, of course, is that people want to see multiplayer. At the moment, they have co-op and they have, I do believe, split screen co-op at the moment only. Hopefully that will evolve into at least local co-op so that you can invite your online friends. Maybe not necessarily like big huge servers, but something along the lines of the forest. And I've said all this before, but you know I do think it's worth repeating again. Um, so we're just going to gather all these resources. You can see there, getting me tree, getting the wood, getting the rocks. You know the deal. This is like the usual bog standard stuff. And we can start gathering some resources. Maybe not these ones. Oh, that bit of coral. Or is that a jellyfish? It's just a... Just a jelly, just a coral, just a bit of coral. Let's get some fiber. There we go. So yeah, this is it, guys. This is... Oh, I'm getting owned by a, a, a crab. Are you kidding me? There we go. This is it, guys. This is the bulk of the game. So um, yeah, tutorial objective there is up. Obviously, like I said, they're going to be doing work on making sure this is all nice and done. But it's a good move. It means that console players who maybe not used to these types of games will get definitely some help. There we go, managed to get ourselves some wood from a tree. So yeah, this is all probably maybe a bit too early to show off really, because we're not getting much from just seeing what the descriptions are from the tutorial up there. But definitely you get the idea, it's going to have a decent tutorial mode with it, and so you're not going to be left wondering what to do like the previous survival games, it's going to give you the basics at least. It could be an absolute monster hit on console where there just isn't enough of these types of games. And I really hope that's the case. I think a developer that's worked so hard on this game over the years, it has been in development a long time, definitely deserves some recognition, especially when it's been so popular as well. It has sold like a million copies, I do believe, on Steam too. So this isn't just some game that no one's ever bought. But certainly with only two of them really being the guys that actually worked on the game for such a long time, it has probably taken a little bit longer than most people would have assumed. It's also interesting as well, the way that games are developed now, I think this type of game, if they'd started it like last year, would have been made or maybe got the same sort of progress. But because a lot of these survival games started out five or six years ago, before lots of the programs were free to use, like Unreal Engine and Unity, they still charge for a lot of their stuff that you had to use to make a game. Whereas now it's like really free, anyone can pretty much get on there, you can look stuff up and you could technically make a game yourself. It's, it's, it's very hard to actually make a good game, but certainly you don't need much experience to make a really bad game. And so developers that started this process before early access was a real thing or just when it's beginning of its life, they've probably had to endure a lot more difficulties, either upgrading to new systems, and of course competing against competitors that maybe didn't have to go through the struggles they did. I think this is why I like early access games more, or why I have done in the past, and AAA games, because you see a lot of heart and a lot of effort go into these, and it's not just some big corporate machine designed to get as much money from microtransactions. Anyway, I'm going off on a tangent, but there we go. That's why I like lots of survival and early access games. It is because I can see how much hard work and dedication goes into it, and it's just not necessarily messed with like them big games from big publishers. Now they have got a smaller publisher working with them. Obviously that's what they needed to do to get the game back on show. And for sure I'm pretty certain the interest they saw in it last year really confirmed that if they could get this game out on console it's going to make them a shed ton 
of money and throw them up there so they can maybe keep working on the game or even work on something different. So there we go. Let me know what you think about Stranded Deep coming to console at last. Latest news on the setback or latest news on maybe not having the release as quickly as we thought. Let me know also if you've played The Forest. What did you think about that on the PS4? And I guess maybe next big one is maybe Subnautica. If they're the types of games you've enjoyed, you're probably definitely going to like Stranded Deep a lot. As ever, I will keep you up to date with all the shenanigans of early access survival games and indie. And go and give me a follow on Mixer. This is where I'm going to be streaming a lot of these games with the community of Ratbags we have. So if you want to come play with me on Conan, Ark, Citadels, Atlas, them type of games, make sure you go and follow me on Mixer. Until next time, Ratbags, laters.